Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time we left off we were out in the streets in Detroit and that's where we're going to pick back up. Chapter 2 was back in the saddle. Six months have passed since mysterious black op mercenaries attacked Seraph Industries, destroying labs and murdering the company's top researchers. Although nearly killed in the attack himself, Jensen has been called back to work in the middle of his post-op recovery. Seems his boss, David Seraph, needs the newly augmented Jensen skills to protect the firm from yet another crisis. Chapter 3, Seraph Under Siege. A group of anti-augmentation extremists, calling themselves Purity First, have broken into Seraph Industries' manufacturing plant and taken hostages. And we have been cut off. But we find ourselves out here in the alley. Now first things first, I've already talked to these guys, but one of them, this one I think, gives combat experience. So, bam. We only get 50 because his green-haired friend wasn't worth any experience for whatever reason. That's fine. He had pistol ammo. He had 57 credits and pistol ammo. Well, with that done... Let's drag the bodies over behind this dumpster. That seems like a good cleanup protocol. And right as we head through this door, we get 100 experience for locating Detective Chase's building. So, motherly ties. It's now meet with Detective Chase. I found Chase. Time to see if he'll talk to an ex-cop about Megan's case. So, let's roll through here and talk to the man. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in a prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean... You know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... This was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions. And every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, yeah, well, while you're there. There was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay, I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. He might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah. When the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please, don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. 
About. <clears throat> Assignment. How did you get assigned to this case? I didn't push for it, if that's what you mean. To be honest, I didn't want to get involved. Why not? I was an honest cop, Jensen. I always tried to conduct myself in accordance with the law, with procedures, and what I believed was right. Not really the standard M.O. for a case like this. Agency. You said an outside agency may have tampered with a storage locker. What did you mean by that? Well, I've seen, uh, I mean, I've heard that government agents may have locked up some of the more sensitive evidence in a safe inside the locker. Come on, Chase. What are you not telling me? Damn it! Okay, listen. I snooped around that locker before and found the safe code. But I kind of got caught by one of those guys. He knows I know, Jensen. If I give you the code, they'll know I talked. Call me negative, but I can't think of a nice outcome to that. Retirement. Why retire from the force only to become a security guard? I mean, it looks like you still love the work. I love the idea of being a cop. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to join the force. But I just got fed up. It's not like I had imagined it. It's a job. Some people are good at it, while others just don't care. And it shows. This case, the Seraph case, it was just the last drop in a cup already full. Return, leave. That's all I need for now. Okay. So we got a lot of new objectives. We got a hundred experience just for finding him and talking to him. Our new objectives are... Locate Captain Penn's office. Chase told me that the order to close... Oh, yes. First, we have a secondary objective. Locate Officer Wagner's office. Well, let's just... Let's start up here. Locate Captain Penn's office. Chase told me that the order to close the DMPD's investigation came from higher up. If that's true, the Jefferson Drive precinct captain might have copies of those orders on his computer. Time to check out Captain Penn's second floor office inside the police station. Alright. Up here, go to the police station lobby. Chase confirmed Cassandra's suspicions about a sloppy police investigation and suggested I speak to one of the officers assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. I should be able to find Wagner inside the lobby of the Jefferson Drive precinct. Locate the DMPD storage unit. According to Chase, all the evidence that the DMPD uncovered during their investigation was moved to a cold case storage, lock storage locker after the feds took over the case. I need to find that locker and take a look at the evidence. And then the secondary objective is locate Officer Wagner's office. Chase also said that Wagner may not want to tell me much, but he thinks I can loosen the man's tongue if I get inside Wagner's office and find dirt to use against him. His office is on the third floor of the precinct. All right. Now let's check the rest of this building. I don't think they appear in here until we get the email on Adam's computer. But here we've got a level one keypad protecting the entrance to Greg and Josie Thorpe's apartment. So, level one. Nice and easy. Let's hack it open. There is one data store. No problem. Access granted. Got my stopworm and my 25 experience. Beautiful. Let's roll in here now. Yeah, this is the Thorpe's apartment, but they haven't appeared yet because I don't, haven't checked Adam's email. So, if I head into this back room, behind the picture frame, there's a safe protected with a level 2 device, which I will go ahead and hack open. Let me see. Oh, yeah. We have to have to complete the circle, unfortunately. Access granted. No data stores. We got our 50 experience. So now that the safe is open, I get 
120 credits, 100 credits, and a stop worm. So, I'm going to close the safe and read this ebook. It's a Hudero ebook, worth 200 experience. Nano Augmentation, Pipe Dream or Theory for the Future by Hugh Darrow, excerpt from a paper in Neo Nature, September 2022. We've been throwing around the word nanotechnology for decades, and yet despite all our best efforts, we are only inching closer to that molecular scale frontier when in fact we should be racing toward it. In the decade to come, the enhanced beings, post-humans, who are our progeny, will look at the mechanical devices we rudely bolted onto our living flesh or buried inside our gray matter, and they will mock us for our crudity. They will look upon what we have made with the same curiosity, the same disinterest, as the pilot of a VTOL helicopter would look upon an ox cart. The future of human augmentation lies in the small, in fact, the smallest. In the next 30 years, the molecular frontier will be broken and true nanoscalar reprogramming and biological reorientation will be possible. There will be no more tedious instances of severing limbs to replace them with steel proxies. We will drink in these tiny machines, inject them, and be transformed. All right, let's check the bathroom. I don't think there's anything in here, but now that that's accomplished, it's time once again to backtrack to Seraph Industries. We're finally going to hack Adam's computer. Accomplished, we will actually be completely finished inside Seraph. So we'll just head straight up to level three. All the way to Jensen's office. And hack our own computer. Of course, we have the passcode, but what fun would that be? All right, now it's important to get the data stores on this bad boy. And as you can probably see, they can be tough to get to. I have one nuke virus and two stop worms. The best thing to do is actually probably to go straight for the directory here since I can get to it. So that is what I'm going to do. Well, maybe not. Access granted. Got it. There we go. So, the data stores combine for a whopping 500 experience, plus the 75 from accomplishing the hack. So, from Greg Thorpe to Adam Jensen, words aren't enough. Mr. Jensen, I meant what I said at the plant today. You saved my life in more ways than one. When those gunmen took my Josie away, I thought, well, you probably know what I thought. Please, let me repay you. Josie and I are back home safe in our apartment. We live in a third floor condo on Brooklyn Court. You can find the entrance behind the 2nd Street gas station. Stop by next time you're in the city and I'll have something for you. Sincerely, Greg Thorpe. And from Athena Margulies to Adam Jensen, forward minor security concern. Adam, I really don't mean to bug you on this, but I think I've got another suspect in those neuropazine thefts. I caught Denzel Mitchell going over my stack of VersaLife purchase orders. He said he needed to verify the legal address for a contract David wanted him to look over, but he'd have that address on a dozen correspondences already. For a lawyer, you'd think he'd be able to come up with a better defense. His door code is 1364, by the way, Athena. 
Previously, Athena Margulies, a Margulies at si.corp.det, wrote, Welcome back, Adam. First of all, it really is good to have you back. Things just haven't been the same since the attack, and we're all hoping your return will restore some sense of equilibrium. That and David really missed you. I know your top priority right now is going to be with him, but if you have a moment, there's something I'd like you to check into as well. Someone's been stealing neuropazine. I first noticed it about three months ago. We seemed to be reordering cases from VersaLife far more often than usual. I had Frank run through the lab security tapes, and that's when he realized someone had tampered with them, usually on nights when Will Rossellini was in charge. Frank wanted to search Will's office immediately, and even gave me the access code, 3716, but I told him to wait. Last thing we need is to start falsely accusing people. When you get a chance, can you speak to Will? He's working in Office 23. Athena. Athena Margulies, Executive Assistant, Seraph Industries. Anyway, we're done, and we picked up a new side quest. S4, one good turn deserves another. Primary objective, meet with Greg Thorpe. Greg Thorpe wants to thank me again for saving him and his wife Josie tonight. He lives on the third floor of an apartment building that's located near the 2nd Street gas station. If I can, I might stop by. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Now we really are done in Seraph. No more backtracking to here, which is nice. So, back out to Detroit. Now we can just head in here, and go right back upstairs to the Thorpe's apartment. Doors unlocked, and now they're in here. I can never thank you enough for what you did. I hope you did the right thing letting that extremist go like that. I guess time will tell. Thank God it's all over now. Thank God it's all over now. And... Before I talk to Greg, let's, uh, hack the safe again, since it has relocked. Another level two. I think, I even think the grid is the same as before. It is. <laughs> Access granted. There we go. 50 experience and 120 new credits inside. Not bad. Now let's talk to Greg. Welcome. I'm glad you came. I can never properly repay you for what you did, of course, but I would like to help out any way I can. What do you have in mind? There's a gentleman named Seurat who works in the area. His business causes him to move around quite a bit, but at the moment he's occupying an apartment in a building on Earl's Court. If you mention my name, he'll give you a discount on his wares. He deals in, well, he's a gun runner. How does a guy like you know someone like that? Growing up in my old neighborhood, you learn pretty quick to cultivate certain types of relationships. Meet with Greg Thorpe. Gave me 750 experience. Awesome. You'll remember his name, won't you? Seurat, like the painter. I don't care what some of the other folk at the office say about you. You're okay in my book. I don't care what some of the other folk at the office say about you. You're okay in my book. All right, we're done here, so let's head back out to the streets. I like the title of that experience bonus, Completionist. I am nothing if not a completionist. 
Alright, let's talk to these people first. Maybe those purity first nuts have got the right idea. It might be the only way to get the governments off their asses and do something. You ask me? They should outlaw all skinners, not just regulate them. You ask me? They should outlaw all skinners, not just this regulate them. This city is one big gutter and always will be. You think this is bad? <laughs> Wait till the UN passes that legislation thing. Detroit is gonna be one giant bread line. That's what I've been saying. David Seraphine saved this city. He split it into the haves and have nots. Yeah, damn right. I've been limping for 10 years. Don't I got the right to get enhanced? No. Even, even if I did, but how the hell am I gonna afford that drug? Neuropopazine. Neuropopazine. Whatever. Gotta pay up the ass for that one. I broke my leg 10 years ago and it ain't never really healed. I guess I have to live with it since I'll never be able to buy me an AUG. You got any whiskey on you? You got any whiskey on you? Hey, pal. You got any change in that fancy coat of yours? This city is a dump, and David Sarah can go to hell. This city is a dump, and okay. David Sarah can go to hell. We got two apartment buildings. I'm in... This is the one tied to the lesser evil side quest, so I'm inclined to tackle this one first. Let's get these credits under the dumpster. 22 there, and... Looks like... Oh good, I can reach it. 67 credits there. Can get it without uh, actually moving the dumpster, that's a good thing. There's a crate in case I need another stepping stone. Always good to keep track of that kind of thing. Anyway, for this building, let's just head up the ladder and take the fire escape. If you want a real bit of trivia, that scream track you sometimes hear, I've heard it in lots of places, but the association I have with it is the introduction to System Shock 2, another one of the greatest undersold, underplayed games of all time. I think, I haven't decided what I'll do after Human Revolution, because this one will take a while. There's so much to do in this game, but when this Let's Play is done, I might very well do the System Shock series next. I absolutely love those games. <clears throat> anyway, let's just roll right through here. Plenty of crates here. The good thing about the hubs, at least, is pretty frequent auto saves in case we screw up. But let's head downstairs. Nothing, nothing. We head over here. That's an apartment we'll want to hack into. This one won't be accessible until we come back to Detroit later in the game. I think the one apartment is the only thing to mess with now. Yeah, we just got another exit here. Okay. Well, let's head to the apartment that we can hack open. And, should be no surprise here, let's hack it open. Alright. Security rating 2, 4 attempts. I have no nukes, but two. I have two stop worms. So... I cannot capture the directory, so... I have to go after the data stores directly, which is kind of a pain, but not much to do. Access granted. Doesn't matter. Got him. 200 credits, 100 XP from data stores, and 50 experience for the base hack. Now let's head inside. Get a hundred experience exploration bonus for getting into the apartment. Goody, goody, goody. Looks like someone's either just moving in or just moving out. Nothing, nothing. 43 credits, don't mind if I do. Let's head through here. We've got an ebook. 
on view Wednesday night's essential viewing on holo, hollow, flat screen, and streaming media. 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., Picus News Network, The Global Report with Eliza Cassan. Cassan interviews Cyber Olympian Sandra Pappenhaus and Elder Rocker Joko. Channel 120, Heroes on Call, Episode 2.12. The conclusion of this two-part episode finds Todd and his Bell Tower team trapped in the orphanage by a UN hit squad. Digidirect, Clean Streets. Hapless detective Jack Clean forces his partner to masquerade as his wife when Susan divorces him with hilarious results. Pika Sports 3, National Enhanced Hockey League. Coverage of the Paris Towers vs. Seattle Hammers game. World Watch 1 HD. Holly, Wood, and Vine. Holly discovers she is pregnant. Envision, Envision Extra, the Panchia Project. Cinevid, Swords of Soul Ban, Fantasy Adventure, 2014, rated PG. M3V, Nayashia Akeem, The Steel Skin Tour. Live concert from Mombasa. Pika Sports 5, Augmented Combat Challenge 2026 World Championship. Highlights of last year's competition. Good times, good times. Anything under these boxes? No. Over here we have a computer. Security rating 1. R. Marley. Ah, that's clever. Let's hack it open. We get five attempts at this. There's one data store up there. I can't capture the directory, so... Let's do this. Access granted. 50 credits for the data store, 25 XP for the hack. From Liam McDougall at gaggle.det.usa to Brooke Mc12 at gaggle.det.usa. Finally hooked up. Hey B, so you finally moved in, huh? They broke any of your stuff? Just let me know when they hook up your internet. I'll come and give you a hand with everything. Take care, your big brother. Alright, let's check the bathroom. There is a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar. And a newspaper. Anti-Aug terrorist at large. The mastermind behind today's hostage taking at Seraph Industries is on the loose. He is being hunted by local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies. A decorated ex-marine, Ezekiel Zeke Sanders, is the leader of a group of militant pro-human activists known as Purity First. Hostages rescued at Seraph Manufacturing Plant. Tragedy was averted in Milwaukee Junction this evening as Detroit SWAT teams swept through the Seraph Industries manufacturing plant, freeing workers from pro-human extremists who had been holding them hostage for several hours. It could have been a bloodbath, commented Sergeant Neil Townsend, chief of the tactical unit, but we encountered very little resistance. The operation was a complete success. Townsend's words stand in stark contrast to eyewitness accounts criticizing his team for reacting too slowly. The SWAT team sure took their sweet time. They stood around for hours like they were afraid to move or something, said an unidentified man. Townsend's department is still deflecting blame for mishandling a similar standoff two years ago in Mexican town when a SWAT team killed a 15-year-old teen, igniting a citywide riot. Interesting. Okay, that's it for this whole building, so now let's head over to Tyndall's. Without Icarus, we need to go out the way we came in. Head over here, down the fire escape steps. And down another ladder. And I'm gonna get the ball rolling by hacking the security gate. Level two, no problem. Should should be no problem anyway. Can't capture the directory. Well, whatever you call the source. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Access granted. Okay, got both data stores. 100 credits, 200 experience, plus 50 experience for the hack. And we're in. Beautiful.
Get a hundred experience bonus for popping back here, and that gives me a Praxis Point, which is awesome. I have decided, though, that the next AUG I want is the Social Enhancer, so I'm going to wait till I have two Praxis and then get it. But we've got another Cyber Boost Pro Energy Bar and 39 credits back here, which is pretty awesome. Now, if I remember, I think that... <laughs> yes. Getting to the top of the gate gets you a 200 experience <coughs> exploration bonus, which is pretty awesome. So, let's head into the building now. Locate Tyndall's apartment building. That was worth 300 experience. So, we now have the primary objective, gain access to Tyndall's apartment. The blackmail material I'm looking for will be inside Tyndall's apartment. Better look for a way to get inside. Uh, Tyndall's apartment is, I believe, this one here on the ground for floor. With the handy level one keypad. So let's hack it open. Can't get to the source. I've got one data store. What's the best way to go? Here, here, here. Yeah, I have to get here anyway, so I'm gonna go here, here, here. Data store exit. <laughs> Access granted. 100 XP in the data store, 25 for the base hack. Gain access to Tyndall's apartment. That was worth another 300 experience. Next is investigate Tyndall's computer. Corella said that the blackmail material I'm looking for is security footage that shows him stealing neuropazine from Seraph Industries. He thinks it will be on Tyndall's computer. Alright, well, let's check out the apartment. Another newspaper here, we've already read that one. Let's check the kitchen. Nothing there. Let's close that door for the moment. Read this ebook. We hope for better things. The past and future of Detroit. Part 6. Where now? Ours has been described as a bleak city beset by tension between race, between rich and poor, between humans and augments. While it is true that Detroit never fully recovered from the loss of the motor vehicle industry and aftermath of the oil crash, can we really allow that to be the epitaph for our metropolis? Amid the darkness, there is a beacon of light. The forward-looking Seraph Industries have made our city their corporate headquarters after constructing a manufacturing facility here. SI's founder, David Seraph, hopes that Detroit can once more become a beacon city, a place where reconstruction can set the standard for other places across America. And each day we struggle against the harsh realities of life in our embattled urban wasteland to reach this laudable goal. All right. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now the computer is unlocked. Let me check inside the bathroom before I read it. From management at gaggle.det.usa to tenants at gaggle.det.usa, security gate update. Notice to all tenants. A new security gate has been installed and activated. The gate code is 0002. Do not disclose this code to any non-tenants. Safety concerns all of us. Thank you for your cooperation. The management. From M. Gilmore at datcorral.det.freestates.usa. We've got an angry dude who we're going to need to take down when he pops in here, so... We'll read that email once we take care of him. This guy's obviously by himself. So I need my dupas. Single takedown will be just fine for him. Fifty experience for the takedown. Uh, he's got a shotgun and a pocket secretary. From Pocket Secretary, 
or uh, re reply, need the shit, from Brian Tyndall at helixguru.det.usa to S. Sikiola at scowlingmask.det.usa. Hey Stevie, I'm sorry man, we just couldn't score as much last week and I'm all out. I'm not doing this to you on purpose, trust me. I'm looking for extra sources right now, but I didn't get an answer yet. Just don't do anything crazy, Tyndall. And here's the one we weren't able to read. Mercury Insta Messaging Autosave from M. Gilmore at datacorral.det.freestates.usa to Brian Tyndall at helixguru.det.usa. This conversation was automatically saved in your conversation history. Reaver, Brian, you there? Tindy boy, yeah. Brandy's not doing good. I'll take whatever you got. Can we meet? Not a good idea. Gotta keep low profile. She's in pain. Neighbors are gonna complain to the cops. She needs new paws. Please. Brian, you there? All right, but I don't have much new paws left. I'll pay. I don't want your money, Mark. It's never about the money. What about Corella? Can you score more NP from him? He's getting less and less cooperative. Shit, didn't you have dirt on him or something? Right here in my pocket, man, but you can only push a man so far. I'll meet you, behind the gas station down the street. But hurry, I don't like being out in the open like this. You are the man, behind the gas station. Got it. Let's get rid of these new tags. And we got 300 more experience for investigating the computer. And so our goal is now, primary objective, meet with Tyndall. <coughs> The blackmail footage wasn't on Tyndall's computer, he's carrying it with him, but an email on the computer suggests he's going to meet someone behind the abandoned gas station on 2nd Street, so if I want to get the footage, I'd better intercept that rendezvous. Easy enough. Let's get out of here. Check out the rest of this building. I could have sworn there was another apartment down here. I guess I'm wrong. Okay, I'll go ahead and head upstairs then. Now there's an apartment up here that's tied to another side quest that we haven't started yet. I think it's this one. Yes, it is. Well, let's go ahead and get in. Let's go ahead and hack the door at least. Since it's only a level one. Got a data store up there. Which I'll just have to go and get. Access granted. Got a stop worm and got my 25 experience. Awesome. So, as we move into the apartment, I'm going to start checking for stuff. We won't get any of the side quest experience yet. I'm pretty sure most of the... <coughs> a lot of stuff won't have even spawned, but... There's still a good amount of stuff we can do right now. Pistol on the desk, newspaper on the desk we've already read. There's pocket secretary here. Stat up from carver.wilks at govnet.secure.net to Jack O'Malley at govnet.secure.net. These are the lodgings you will occupy for the duration of this operation. You will notice a door with a security lock on it. The code for this lock is 1029. Whenever you receive a special delivery, it will be left for you inside that room. CCT. Interesting. Now this one is security rating 4. We have the code, but we can still hack it, which is a much better plan. Now, okay, we can't get to either of those, or either of those. But I can get both data stores and then go after the exit. <laughs> Yes. Access granted. Got two stop worms. Only spent one. That works. And a hundred experience for the hack. Now the door is unlocked. But I need to be careful. 
Those red lights mean I am dealing with explosive mines. So I need to be very careful. I need Jensen to move nice and slow as I go up to these things. 200, 200 XP exploration bonus for coming in here. I think the three mines might be all there are, but... All right, there's one fragmentation mine. Let's carefully move over here. And we got two others, and I think that's all. Frag mines being very useful for dealing with bots and turrets. I am going to hold on to these. Can't move the crate. That's fine. That's fine. Let's just move all the junk boxes out of here. Crossbow arrows. Now that's interesting. I'm not gonna actually going to carry them with me. I'm just examining them. Crossbow arrows. Guillaume-Tell golden arrows. Description. Polycarbonate, carbide-tipped, fin-stabilized bolts optimized to offer stealth, grace, and accuracy when hand-loaded into a crossbow. Manufacturer, Kaiga LTD. Interesting. I need to sell that shotgun when I am finished inside this building, but... For now... Let's search the drawers. Nothing. They are empty. Let's tap the computer. It's only a level one hack. O'Malley, no code found. Pretty straightforward. Just gotta go here and then keep going to get to the data store. Access granted. 25 XP from the data store, plus 25 for the base hack. We've already read that email, and from littletony82 at scowlingmask.net to jackomalley at govnet.secure.net, Sam fucked up. Hey boss, Sam really fucked up this time. We told him. We told him to keep it cool that you'd come up with a clean solution, but you know him with his crazy ass temper. Said there wasn't no risk, he was covered and whatnot. Went straight to Big Ben's corner and iced him in the middle of the goddamn street. He said it was deserted, but I've heard through some of my personal channels that a local dealer might have witnessed all of it. I'll hit you back once I know who he is and what he knows. This is big, boss. If they ever get to Sam, you know he'll talk. We have to deal with this situation now. And behind the picture frame, there's a level 3 hack on the safe. Let's do that, too. Alright, I got one data store up there, and I got two exit nodes I have to get to. This one's gonna be tough. We're good. Access granted. 300 credits, 75 XP for the hack. Inside the safe, we find a nuke virus and two sets of shotgun cartridges. I believe that's all we can do in here without the side quest, although there is another shotgun. Ebook, Jusad Bellum, The Rise of the PMCs, The Blue Water Scandal. 
In 2011, Blue Water Global, the worldwide leader among PMCs, became the subject of a scandal that altered the landscape of the military contracting community. On the heels of accusations of wrongdoing by its employees in Afghanistan, a journalist with the Sentai Shimbun captured images of BG staff engaging in clandestine dealings with insurgents, apparently aimed at prolonging elements of the conflict. The outcry that followed sent shockwaves through the PMC business. Within a year, congressional hearings and a massive fall in shareholder confidence sounded the death knell for Blue Water. Public sentiment turned against PMCs, but the need for them was still very immediate. Sensing an opportunity, Roger St. John Folks, founder and CEO of Bell Tower Associates, filled the power vacuum. Bell Tower's untarnished image worked in the corporation's favor, beginning a rise that took it to the top of its industry. Now, since there's another shotgun here, <clears throat> let me show you one of the best ways to make a lot of credits in this game. Don't pick up the second shotgun, because it will convert into shotgun ammo. What you want to do instead is head back out to the merchant. Grayson, his name is. Sell the one you've got for hundreds of credits, then pick up the second one and sell it as the weapon for hundreds of credits instead of the ammo cartridge, which sells for like 50. What'll it be? So, let's sell the shotgun. Yes, 750 be credits. Be sure to tell all your friends. They're just not the cops. <laughs> <clears throat> Now, if you're really OCD, like I admittedly often am, you can do this ad nauseum with, for me, every weapon except the pistol. I don't think it's really worth doing with the pistol. <coughs> I don't know if you heard that. If you were paying attention, one of the hobos just whistled the theme song from the first game. I love that there are so many little touches like that in here. It's incredible. I love it. Oh, back to O'Malley's apartment. Grab the other shotgun, and why not? I'll go ahead and port it back to Grayson and sell it, too. Sorry for the tedium here, but you might recall I... I'm playing as though I have 10,000 credits less than I actually do because if you don't have the DLC, you won't have those 10,000 credits. And I want to make sure that what you see me doing works for you if you elected not to buy the DLC. And when we get... I'm trying to think. We've already bought two. There are two limb clinics that you find... At Twice. Plus, there's a limb clinic on Panchia <coughs> in the last level. Every one of those sells two Praxis kits for 5,000 credits each. How may I be of service? Plus, with Typhoon ammo and the other stuff we want, we just... We actually do end up needing a lot of credits. Be sure to tell all your friends. They're just not the cops. <laughs> And if you're not going for pacifist, you have even more use for your credits. I guess this is a really long-winded way of saying, unlike, to a large extent, the first two games, credits are actually really, really useful in this one. There are lots of good things, things that you need, that you can get with credits. So, it is worth... If you can get 750 credits instead of for a shotgun instead of getting 20 or 30 for a few shotgun shells, it's worth a little bit of tedium. Now then, let's keep going the rest of the way upstairs. There's one other apartment in here. This one is a level five hack, if I remember right. Drills and saws and shit? It ain't right. But what do you want me to do about it, honey? Call the police? 
I want you to get off your ass, knock on their door, and ask them politely to turn down the volume on whatever machines they're running. Fine. But I don't understand why you don't just complain to the super or call the police. Will you stop it with the police already? We don't even know what kind of operation they got going on over there. We call the police and they might come over here and saw us the pieces. Honestly, have some sense. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let me check all the crates. That's because they are fans of hiding things under crates sometimes. Alright, level 5 hack. This will be fun. I do have a nuke virus and three stop worms. Got my data store. Access granted. Got through. 250 XP plus 125 for the hack. Excellent. Now, getting inside here is worth another 200 XP. Explorer bonus. Love that. I don't see anything in the kitchen, but... Got a lot of drugs and whatnot. Hey, it's a... a lot of topics to cover today, so let's not waste any time. The topic du jour is separatist terrorists. Listen, I have no love for the secesh, but let's raise some real tangible truth here, followers. This is not about the separatist movement. Give me a break. California is the reason we have augmented super soldiers roaming the streets. Utah is the reason FEMA could drop you in a concentration camp anytime they feel like. Have you so quickly forgotten they did in the Cold War to protect you from the commies. Then after 9-11 to protect your ass from that phantasm, Bin Laden. Remember that guy? So now what? To protect you from the Mormons? <laughs> These are fear tactics, plain and simple. They want you to be afraid of your neighbors. Another false flag in a long line of false flags that have been thrown up since World War I when the banks, government, and military production industry realized, hot tamale, we can make truckloads of money off this war shit. How can we make some more? Come on, people, wake up. All right. <clears throat> Now, if I remember right, yes, painkillers. Not that I have any need for them, so actually, not gonna bother. But they're there if you want them. Here we've got a level 2 keypad. Let's hack this one open. Alright. Can't get to the source, but what I can do... Well, there's a data store that's actually just on the way to the exit, so this is pretty straightforward. Access granted. 150 XP plus 50 for the hack. Awesome. So as we pop in here... Let's check the drawers first. We've got an ebook on the desk. It's a Hudero ebook, 200 experience. Arms and legs for man, the structure of cybernetic limbs. From a seminar by Hugh Darrow for BBC4, spring 2009. The form and function of what are commonly known as cybernetic limbs, that is, mechanical augmentation prosthetics, can be summed up in a single word, improvement. These augmentation technologies replace feet, hands, legs, or arms with a synthetic model that can easily replicate, if not surpass, the abilities of an organic limb. In cross-section, cyber limbs are composed of muscles made from electroactive polymer bunches arranged around artificial bones that are, in turn, formed from dense superplastics or lightweight metal alloy foams. Fluid shock absorbing joint mechanisms complete the mimicry of human form, and to give the limbs a more realistic sense, they are typically coated with a nanoscale artificial epidermis that resembles flesh. 
Inside the limbs, microcomputer units interface directly with biochips implanted in the organic parts of the augmentee's body, translating nerve impulses from the brain directly into action and motion. Far more advanced than the crude constructs of the past, these human augmentations allow us to become better, faster, and stronger. Alright, let's hack the computer. It's only level one. Doctor! There is a data store all the way over there. Should be fine. Access granted. Two hundred credits and twenty five XP. From Tito13 at scowlingmask.net to Doc at scowlingmask.net. Get out now. Yo, Doc, I did my homework and it turns out little Kevin wasn't lying. They really are on to our little enterprise. They've set up a wire or some shit on the clinic line in both our cells, so toss it. If they got with, <laughs> Excuse me. If they got wind of me tapping into their shit, they're gonna move on the clinic, so it's better if you just grab whatever could link to us by name and get the hell out of there. Don't get all humanitarian on me now, just stop whatever you're doing and get the fuck out. Dude number 13. From Tito13 at scowlingmask.net to Doc at scowlingmask.net. Reply, storage, done. I've cleaned up the stash in the storage and for increased security I've changed the code to 3663. Have a good one, T. Doc at scowlingmask.net wrote, hey, you think you could clean up the storage a bit? It's really a mess in there. Thanks. All right. Another level 5 device on that gate, which we'll need to hack. I don't think there's anything in the bathroom. So, level 5 hack it is. Access granted. Got it. <clears throat> One twenty five for the base hack and two fifty from the data store. Excellent. Now, as we open the door. You get a 100 experience bonus for exploring in here. And right here is a Praxis Kit. I think I have two available now, so let's go ahead and get the Social Enhancer. Excellent. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, I only went through one conversation without it, but now I have it, which is good. Of course, now I have to decide what to get next. I think I'll get... I'm trying to get everything I have to have at some point out of the way, so... Yeah, I'll get the implanted rebreather next. That one's worth... Of course, that's another two-praxis endeavor. That's fine. Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack. And in the weapon cabinet... There's just a couple of 10 millimeter pistols. Well, that's kind of a disappointment, but the Praxis is more than worth all the trouble that it takes to get into here. So, one last thing. As we head up these stairs, out to the roof, we get another 200 experience exploration bonus. That's it for this building, at least until we come back with the O'Malley side quest. So let's head into, you guessed it, another apartment building. But there's some people to talk to in the street before we get there. 
bust up the monotony a little. Am I carrying anything I don't need? Oh, looks like I can only stack three packs at a time. That's interesting. There's the theme song whistle. I love it. Really do. Okay, they aren't saying anything, so let's just talk to them. I'm sick of it, man. I get hassled by the cops every day. But a real fucking gun runner lives in an apartment right here. He gets away scot-free. What a fucking joke. Guy sells weapons out of his apartment and has a storage locker full of crap. The cops never bother his ass. He must have laid down some serious grids to be ignored. Guy sells weapons out of his apartment and has a storage locker full of crap. You look like a guy that gets never around. Bother his ass. Little advice. He Stay must out have of the down some serious A lot of shit going down in there lately. Bangers and ballers have been fighting for territory even under the city. And I've seen some other guys almost sound like a cult. They really hate you, Orgs. Bangers and ballers have been fighting for territory even under blocks. the city. You and like I've seen some other guys almost sound like a cult. On legs. They really I'll hate you, I bet you're recording orgs. every word I say and feeding it back to the corporation that made you. Goddamn governments and corporations. They're all trying to control us. Goddamn governments okay. and corporations. Okay. <clears throat> Hop up this ladder. Oh. I didn't want him on the ladder. Thought he was going to open the window. There, we can open this one. Can open that one too. Can't do anything here on top. Let's go into the lower window. Oh, but first, I can't help but notice a stopworm sitting right out here. I'm gonna grab that. Then hop back onto the fire escape, and now I'm gonna hop through the window. So, anything on or under these crates? No. Ground level? Nothing. 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 Just the sealed gate. That's fine. Over here, you see a man with a gun, but he's not hostile. Before we head over there, we've got a level 2 device here, which, of course, we need to hack open. So, what do we got? The exit's right up here. I need to get all three of these data stores first. Hopefully, I can get them all undetected, but... I probably won't have any such luck. Did I get them all? Access denied. Yeah, but not fast enough. You really hope you won't get nailed hacking level 1 nodes, but you never know. Perfect. Much better. Got all three data stores, got in. So we got a nuke virus, a stop worm, and 100 XP from the data stores, plus 50 for the base hack. Perfect. Let's head in here. I get a 100 experience bonus, ex exploration bonus, just for coming in. Awesome. On the desk, we have a newspaper and an ebook. Uniting the World, the Picus Story. Early in 1985, Dazzle Me Magazine, TK Records, and Rogue Publishing came together under one banner to become, the new, become a new multimedia company for a new age, the Picus Communications Group. Invigorated with new purpose and a forward looking viewpoint, Picus exploded onto the global media scene and began a meteoric rise over the next decade, absorbing other smaller companies in film and television production, video games, advertising, marketing and public relations, and the emergent field of internet service provision. 
By 2010, the PICUS Group shifted its corporate headquarters to Canada. A nation with stability, PICUS invested heavily in the city of Montreal, a growing hub for virtual entertainment, in order to construct a large corporate campus in the center of the metropolis. From its new home, PICUS has continued to spread, drawing in new technologies and talent to bolster its leadership of global media. All right. Doesn't really appear to be anything over here or inside the kitchen. Oh, wait. Okay, cigarettes. There's a pocket secretary. Delivery confirmation from Richard Holt at HoltSydneyThomas.net to V4L3 at DefconAlert.org. Hello, Miss Vale. This message is to confirm that your latest parcel request has been delivered, number 0739. It has been safely stored in accordance with your instructions. For convenience, the parcel number is the same as the code needed to retrieve it. Also, your apartment key has been left in the requested spot. Good day. Holt, Sydney, Thomas, and Associates. Interesting. So, let's... from Lazarus again. That's always fun. Nothing around those crates. Let's check the desk. Nothing here except the computer, which is a level 2 hack. L Vale. Well, let's get in. I do hate transfer nodes, but this one is huge. Seriously huge. But you'll notice we have to go through the transfer node anyway, so I might as well and just hope I don't get, well, hit the trace right away. That's no good. Okay, yeah, I need to plan that a little better. That was insane. The hub is huge, and it's got, I think, four data stores on it. I was kind of hoping that I could hack the level one node without uh, triggering the trace, but... Obviously, no such luck. So, I need to get the transfer node. I need to get this, then this, and then this, and then both those data stores. That seems pretty straightforward. I need to... Actually, it's probably better if I just progress then. To go here, 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 and here. I can make a complete loop all the way around the edge. But I still have to go through here. Oh, uh, we can get this one for free, so we might as well. I thought so. Alright. Even worse, they want you to say, Whoa, that's my next one. It's getting 
Alright. Alright. Got it all. 100 credits, 100 experience, nuke virus, stop worm, 50 experience for the base hack. From T. Stevens at NSAXTEXT.net to Vale at DEFCONALERT.org. Re reply some simple echelon questions. Miss Vale, once again, your questions and insinuations are both ill founded and inflammatory. You have been officially advised about this in the past. Sadly, I must inform you that an official harassment complaint has been filed. If you do not alter your current behavior, I am afraid we will be forced to settle this matter in the courts. Timothy Stevens, Public Affairs National Security Agency. From PennyVale37 at gaggle.det.usa to Vale at defconalert.org. Reply, the truth about Philip Riley Mead. Please read and pass on. You might remember that by the time we get to the first Deus Ex, Philip Mead is the president. For God's sake, Laura, please just stop sending me those stupid emails of yours before I wind up on a watch list or something. You know I don't care about your crazy theories anyway. Zubin and I are working things out, and the last goddamn thing we need is for the police to show up at his office again because of you. If you can't write to me about normal things, don't write at all. Penny. You wrote, You can't hide your head in the sand forever, you know. Remember, all that is needed for evil to triumph in this world is for good people to look away and do nothing. Laura. Pennyvale37 at gaggle.det.usa wrote, Laura, you've got to get off that computer and get yourself a real hobby. You're asking me to trust a few paranoid kooks living in their parents' basement over the investigative reporting done by every member of the press. Who do you honestly think is more trustworthy, Penny? You wrote, Greer is innocent. He was framed by the Meade campaign to ruin his reputation. They want him out of the running so Meade can take the next election. This website presents the true facts behind all the lies. Laura... And from 419 at scowlingmask.ni to veil at defconalert.org, urgent response needed. Attention, the president slash CEO, dear sir, confidential business proposal. Having consulted with my colleagues and based on the information gathered from the Nigerian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, I have the privilege to request for your assistance to transfer the sum of 47,500,000 credits into your accounts. The above sum resulted from an over-invoiced contract executed, commissioned, and paid for about five years ago by a foreign contractor. This action was, however, intentional, and since then the fund has been in a suspense account at the Central Bank of Nigeria Apex Bank. We are now ready to transfer the fund overseas, and that is where you come in. It is important to inform you that as civil servants, we are forbidden to operate a foreign account. That is why we require your assistance. The total sum will be shared as follows. 70% for us, 25% for you, and 5% for local and international expenses incident to the transfer. The transfer is risk-free on both sides. I am an accountant with the Nigerian National Transhumanism Corporation, NNTC. If you find this proposal acceptable, we shall require the following documents. A. Your banker's name, telephone, account, and fax numbers. B. Your private telephone and fax numbers for confidentiality and easy communication. C. Your letter-headed paper, stamped and signed. Alternatively, we will furnish you with the text of what to type into your letter-headed paper, along with a breakdown explaining comprehensively what we require of you. The business will take us 30 working days to accomplish. Please reply urgently. Anyway. Take the picture frame off the wall. We've got a level 3 hack right here. We know the code, but we're gonna hack. We like experience. So... All right. Well, yeah, this isn't gonna work. Let's try again. Man, it has got to let me get through these level one nodes without being detected. That's my biggest issue. Okay. <clears throat> now I can start running concurrent operations. Access granted. 150 credits, nuke virus, 75 experience for the base hack. And the safe is unlocked. It contains an automatic unlocking device, a nuke virus, and a pistol. Yahoo! Anything in the bathroom? No. Alright, we're done in here, so... 
Let's head down the hall now to what turns out to be Surratt's apartment, where uh, Greg Thorpe sent us. The guy you want to deal with is over there. The guy you don't want to deal with is standing in front of you. I'll be watching you. Don't try nothing funny. I'll be watching you. Don't try nothing funny. Anyway... Let's chat with Surratt. You want to buy or sell something? It's all on the computer. What do you want? I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. Let's see what he's got for sale. Machine pistol ammo, stun gun darts, everything's got a discount. He's got a silencer, which I think I can put on my pistol. A stun gun, a machine pistol, and a remote detonated explosive device. Let me check. Okay, that's it. Let me check just to make sure my pistol supports a silencer. Yes, it does. So I'll want to buy that. What do you want? I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. I'm doing I'm fully upgrading the pistol just for the sake of an achievement, but Okay, that's it. So Pistol's got a silencer now. You can see that box turns green to indicate we've got it on there. Anyway, let's check the rest of this joint. Nothing, nothing, nothing. As we head in here, there's an ebook on the table. It's a Hudero ebook, 200 experience. Respiracite technology and hazardous environment parsing. Darrow Industries Developmental Study Abstract Document 2021. The Respirocyte project currently represents the bleeding edge of nanoscale micromachine technology, and while a full, pure application of that system is still several years ahead of our current capabilities, at this stage we are capable of implanting a combined interlaced augmentation using basic respirocyte proxies, rebreather technology, and enhanced lung musculature synthesis using electroactive polymers. The respirocyte itself is an artificial red blood cell, a sphere approximately one micron in diameter with a high internal pressure on the order of around 1,000 atmospheres. Test examples have been constructed using artificial diamond analogs drawing power from blood glucose. It is theorized that the mature design respirocytes could contain several hundred times more oxygen and carbon dioxide than organic blood cells. In effect, a human being with respirocyte colonies in their bloodstream could hold their breath for long periods. Combined with micro-miniature rebreather systems to recycle exhaled breathing gases and implanted molecular filters, it is theoretically possible for a human so equipped to also resist airborne poisons, particulate contaminants, and other toxic environments for short periods. Well, that's awesome. We got a... looks like a sleeping hooker in here. Let's check the bathroom right quick. A little surprised to find nothing in there. The computer is unlocked. From Brother Joe at s.armenth.net to Surratt at s.armenth.net. Payment received. As always, regular like clockwork. We want you to know it's appreciated. It shows the proper professionalism and respect. You should know some of our other franchises have been having more trouble than usual with the police in the form of unwelcome attention. Attention which is keeping the more casual customers away. If you notice anything like that in your location, please let us know ASAP. From Brother Joe at s.armenth.net to Surratt at s.armenth.net. Improved catalog. Central would like to reward you for being one of our biggest and most reliable sellers by adding a few extra items to your current catalog. These exclusive items are of a more specialized variety. If you find a market for them, order as much as you like. Need I remind you, not everyone earns the trust which access to these items implies. <coughs> We've had the extra gear deployed in your usual storage locker near the apartment. Congratulations and keep up the good work. And we have a level 4 lock on the safe. I'm gonna shut... Oh, he doesn't like it if I close the door. Interesting. I guess he wants it to stay open. Well, hopefully I can... Oops. Hopefully I can hack the safe without getting in any trouble with him. So... Let's try it. Level 4, I have 4 nuke viruses and 3 stop worms, and that's good because this joker's complex. 
the exit is up here. I have one, two, three data stores. I pretty much need to use my nuke viruses just to get up there. Anyway, folks, sorry if you saw a hiccup there. So, we will trigger the, uh... Oh, I can get to the data store this way. And I at least have a shot at not triggering the trace if I go that way. Not only that, but I can get to the soften node. Mm. Yeah, I think I want to, uh... I want to make this loop, hit the soften node, then go for the three data stores. So, hopefully, I can get on the right end of some of this 60% stuff. I'm gonna nuke that one. Okay. Spam. Yep. Access granted. Okay, 300 experience, 300 credits, and the nuke virus, plus 100 experience for the base hack. And now the safe is unlocked. Inside we have a 10 millimeter pistol. Uh, looks like stun gun darts. Two boxes. And a pocket secretary. I want the secretary if I can find it. I just picked up a pocket secretary and it didn't show up. How odd. Yeah, the secretary's not in there. Uh, okay. Well, let me briefly pause. And we're back. Sorry about that hiccup. My fucking phone rang like five times. I can't stand that shit. People need to leave me alone. Anyway, all right, let's check the rest of this apartment building. I know there are some stairs to go farther up. Where are they? Or maybe I need to hop out the fire escape and go to the third floor through the window. Oh, nope, here are the stairs. Good. Well, if I remember right, there are already a couple of bad guys up here. Yeah, the MCB Motor City Bangers. This apartment is also tied to a side quest, but uh, I think there are a few things we can do in here now. Here's the window we could have hopped in through. Well, let's just roll right over here. We got these two guys. Oh yeah? How so? Got me a Hurricane TMP-18 from Surat. That's sick shit, man. I didn't know Surat carried those. Double T cut him a break on his rent, so he brought some in just for us. Turns out apartments in this dump ain't exactly cheap. Alright, let's double take down That's these dudes. Enough. Leave quietly and you won't get hurt. Don't come no closer, Slick. Keep Back out up. of- <laughs> Now that double takedown gets us Full double takedown experience. So we got machine pistol ammo and a pocket secretary. Yeah, this one works. Apartment policies and security from management at gaggle.det.usa to strats at scowlingmask.net. Reminder, in signing your lease, you agreed to all of the following conditions. Rent payable the first of every month. No delayed payment without permission of management lockout on the 5th. If no arrangements are made after that time, eviction occurs on the 15th, followed by auction to recoup defaulted payment. The bedroom door code is 3733. Do not change it. Management needs to know that number at all times for security reasons. Thank you for your patronage. Now we want to drag these bodies out of here. Uh, 
Uh, that I don't think that corner is quite good enough, but once we get around this corner, we should be fine. Well, let's just drop both bodies over here. Double takedowns are just kind of fun to pull off, too. Anyway, that one has 29 credits. One of them dropped a regular pistol, and one of them dropped a machine pistol. I'm going to grab the machine pistol, and jog back downstairs, and sell it to Surratt. Got the machine pistol. Now I'm gonna go sell it. Take a look. I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. Sell the machine pistol. Let's see if he's got anything I want. Stun gun and machine pistol. No thanks. See ya. Okay. All right. All right. Back upstairs to finish clearing out that apartment. We'll do everything we can do without the side quest, of course. So this door is unlocked. Once we're inside, I really thought there'd be some beer or something, but I'm not finding anything. There's a 10 millimeter pistol on the table. We've already heard that transmission. Got a beer on the table, and we've all a newspaper which we have already read. So, the keypad on the door is a level 3 hack, which of course we want to go ahead and take care of. There is a data store, but it shouldn't be too hard to get to without any serious trouble. Well, so I thought anyway. Access denied. Unbelievable. That was a crazy short trace. I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, let's try again. If I can just get through those level 2 nodes without getting nailed. Of course, this time the very first one gets me, naturally. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Let's just exit and quick load. And try again. Good grief. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Once it captures the nodes, it just, you know, it immediately fortifies them by two levels, and it's just, there's no way I'm going to get through. I gotta get through at least two, preferably all three, without getting detected. But. Yeah, what I need to do is. I think I. Oh, good, I didn't burn a stopworm. I need to start the capture on this one before it gets converted. Then I should have enough time. Good. Got it. Access granted. Got it. It's so easy when I get that third one without being detected. So I got a nuke virus from the data store and 75 experience for the hack. Let's head into the bedroom. 300 experience for finding my way in here. 
Should be obvious then that this place is tied to a side quest. Which we don't have yet. But there's not actually anything in here except a stopworm in that drawer. That drawer is empty. We've got 168 credits on the desk. And a level 2 computer to hack, which I think is going to give me a Praxis. Starts. No code found. That's fine. Let's hack this bad boy. So, what do we have? We got another big note. A big grid. Basically, just start by going this way. Through all these level 1s. Then, there and there. I can get both data stores. Now I gotta go through the spam node to actually get to the exit, so it's pretty straightforward, but there are a lot of hacks involved. So far, so good. Got both data stores. And got the exit. No problem. Access granted. So I got 100 credits in a nuke virus, plus 50 experience for the hack. And that did give me a Praxis point. From FoxPhase13 at ScowlingMask.net to Strats at ScowlingMask.net. Reply, new pause. I know we low. Tyndall always come through before. He come through now. Stop worrying about my shit and let me handle it. You wrote, hey, we're almost out of new pause over here, cuz. Your boy Tyndall isn't holding out on us, is he? Strats. From FoxPhase13 at ScowlingMask.net to Strats at ScowlingMask.net. Reply, limb protest. No, stay the fuck away from the ballers until we find out more about what kind of weapons they have. You wrote, You hear there's a protest at Lim? Sure to be some ballers there. Maybe we should join the party? Strats. Alright, that's it for here until we have the side quest. So, let's head on out. All the way back down. I might as well hop out this window. Down, 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 ever down. Now, let me just run into the basketball court right quick. Show you these two fellows. Look at you. What are you, a goddamn super soldier or something? I heard about them on the radio. Lazarus is the shit. Not like that Eliza bitch. Fucking company slag. They tell her what to say, and she says it. And a pretty face, and we're supposed to swallow it whole? Well, I got something she can swallow. Right here. Fucking company okay. slag. You trying to scare me, say, And she says it. Cause you don't. And a pretty face, and we're supposed to swallow it whole? Well, I got something she can swallow. Right here. Without them Oggs, you nothing. Nothing. Without them Oggs, you nothing. Nothing. Okay. Well... Handle these guys in a minute. For now, though, we need to run back to the gas station and talk to Tyndall. Go ahead and take care of the lesser evils quest, side quest. <clears throat> so this is the man himself, Brian Tyndall. Jensen, what are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries' chief of security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Ah, oh, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh. There's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine, I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life, and that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain, that just ain't right. 
So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. Let's empathize. I can respect that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit, the dealers probably sent him. Tell you what, I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. We can uh, skip the quest by using pheromones, but I'm going to accept dealing, handling the dealers. Okay, I'll help you out. But you better not be playing me. You give me way too much credit, Jensen. I'm a security tech, not a hardened mobster. The two pushers go by the name PG and BK. They hang out in the alley near the basketball court. Just make sure they never bother me again. You're asking me to kill them. Well, that's a bit drastic, isn't it? But it's your call, as long as you leave me alone. The important thing is you need to take care of both of them. All right. We're not going to kill them. That much should be obvious. So, let's we got 100 experience for talking to Tyndall. So, primary objective, obtain the security footage from Tyndall. Like I thought, Tyndall's got the security footage, so I've got to get it from him. Secondary objective is locate the two dealers. Two local dealers named oops. Two local dealers named PG and BK have been threatening Tyndall's life. He might become more cooperative about handing over the security footage if I find them and take care of the problem. They hang around the basketball court in the alleys. So, with the reflex booster, this is astonishingly simple. Since they are standing right next to each other. We just gotta roll in here. We already talked to them. Get a hundred experience for locating the two dealers. Now we have neutralized the two dealers. I should take PG and BK down so they never bother Tyndall again. He'll be so thankful he just might hand over that security footage. So, double takedown. Hundred twenty five XP for the double takedown. Plus seven fifty for neutralizing the two dealers. Now we have return to Tyndall. PG and BK won't be bothering Tyndall anymore. I should head back to the gas station and tell him and ask for that security footage once more. Uh, let's search these guys first. We got a credit chip, one hundred forty credits, plus shotgun cartridges, which means oops, you guessed it. Homeboy had a shotgun. Now this one has machine pistol ammo and a machine pistol. Both of those are definitely worth selling. So since I'm heading back this way anyway, I'll bring them with me and sell them to Grayson. I'll talk to Tyndall first, though. Look, I told you. If you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. Confirm. I've taken care of the dealers. Now hand over the footage. Thanks, Jensen. Listen, I know it's not something you did from the bottom of your heart, but still, you saved my ass. Here's your footage. Let's... Empathize, or maybe offer help. Let's empathize. Listen, Tyndall, I know your heart was in the right place. Augmentations are a complicated issue, and we're still trying to figure out all the ramifications. It's not perfect, but the end still doesn't justify the means. That's where you and I are different men, Jensen. You follow the rules, but fail to recognize that the rules are written by those in power. Me? I'm willing to do what has to be done. Alright, so I got a data storage device. I completed both of those objectives, which got me a total of 200 experience. 
So return to Corella. Mission accomplished, almost. I got the security footage Corella wanted. Now I just have to bring it to him. He told me he'd be waiting for me in front of the subway station. So I think in my inventory, if I go to quest items, we now have, yes, data storage device. Flash drive containing security footage. Still popularly called a flash drive, this portable device actually uses Spintronic technology to store massive amounts of data. This one contains security footage Brian Tyndall used to blackmail Tim Carella, a Seraph employee. I also think I haven't examined the shotgun yet, so I should do that. Shot a shotgun. Widowmaker TX Shotgun. Use high damage, close range, lethal weapon with a damage spread. Description. With its wide area of effect and good damage capability, the shotgun is the customary short range weapon choice when it comes to room clearance, riot control, and police actions. Reload speed and accuracy are the trade offs for its stopping power. Upgrades. Firing pellet loads from 12 gauge cartridges in an underbarrel helical magazine, the Widowmaker TX Shotgun supports all standard upgrade packages, a special two round burst attachment is also available. Manufacturer Military Arms of Ostrava. Rate of fire 2 out of 10 can be upgraded to 5. Reload speed 2 out of 10 can be upgraded to 5. Damage output 6 out of 10 can be upgraded to 10. Ammo capacity 2 out of 10 can be upgraded to 5. And I think I, I forgot the flavor text on the standard sniper rifle but we'll find another one. So let's sell it be. Sell those weapons to Grayson right quick. Sell the shotgun and the machine pistol. Get out of here. Tell all your friends. It's just not the cops. <laughs> all right. Now let's head out here, talk to Tim Carella, and wrap up the side quest. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. Complete quest. I got the footage. You owe me one, Tim. Yeah, you got that right, Jensen. I mean, thank you so much. This is my life I just got back. Here, there's the weapon mod, as promised. Empathize. Listen, I know you were trying to do a good thing, and I respect that. But you should do it through proper channels. Next time you might not get this lucky. Yeah, you're right, Adam. I know you're right. Listen, thanks again. He leaves. We get a thousand experience for completing the side quest, and we get an achievement, Lesser Evil. Pretty straightforward. Deal with Mr. Corella's indiscretion. You've earned 8 out of 49 achievements, 16%. What was my seventh one? Oh, I think I know what it was. It was when I grabbed the uh, Casey Aug. I got... Oh, nope. What I have is a Hacksaw. Successfully hack at least 50 devices within the same playthrough. Yes, there we go. Already had, already had 50 successful hacks. Well, there will be many more. But uh, let's put the laser targeting system on my pistol. Beautiful. Now, let's head back to the basketball court. I'm getting close to ending the video, but I'll take care of the storage unit in the basketball court first. First things first, we gotta hack this level 5 device. Even though we have the code, we of course would prefer to hack. So.
Access granted. Got the data store, got the 500 credits, got the 125 experience for the hack. And now that we're in here, got to move this box. Move these barrels. Do not step into the lasers. Head right here and hack the level four device. I got 300 experience for getting into the garage. It's an exploration bonus. Now oh, I have to get both of those ports. What the F? At some point, Jensen stepped into the gas, or stepped into the lasers. Well, let's try again. Load latest save. Jensen, Jensen, you're killing me, bro. Let's try again. Let's not just randomly die this time. We do have one data store. Of course, our very first one triggers the trace. Why wouldn't it? Honestly. Access granted. Got it. 250 XP from the data store, plus 100 for the hack. Let's turn off the lasers, shall we? Yes, that's much better. Much better. Okay, so now that we're in here, what do we have? Tranquilizer darts, sniper rifle ammo, and there is a silenced sniper rifle, which we got at the beginning through the DLC, you might remember. Yes, still says pre-order exclusive, so... Maybe it's a standard if we didn't do the pre-order, I don't know. And there we have three combat rifles. I would like to sell all of them. I think... I think Grayson's actually a better choice. Because he doesn't involve all that climbing. Well, let's roll into here. How may I be of service? Let's sell the combat rifle and the silenced sniper rifle. Be sure to tell all your friends. It's just not the cops. <laughs> awesome. I got two more combat rifles to sell. I apologize if it's a bit tedious, but it is what it is. One. What'll it be? sell him another combat rifle. Always a pleasure. What's funny is even with all my mods, he still only thinks my pistol is worth 180. Let's get the third combat rifle and we'll sell that to him too. I'll tell you what, this one will go to Surat. 
just... I'm not running a stopwatch anything or anything, but maybe I can get a feel for which one goes faster. Oh, I should have been doing Surratt. Oh well. What you want? I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. All right. Let's sell the last combat rifle. See ya. Now let's get out of here. Same way we came in, naturally. Just hop out the window, down the fire escape stairs, down the ladder. And let's head through here. Let's move these barrels out of the way. Oh yes, before that, one last thing. Pick up the basketball. And they took a they took a cue from the first Deus Ex. We gotta manage to sink a shot, which can be very tough to do, but Oh, I want you to grab the basketball. Here. What might be easier, if I can find it. Where'd my basketball go? There it is. Might be easier to just hop up here, do it this way. Especially if I get on top of a barrel or something. Why don't I do that? Let's let's cheat like our dads did for us when we were little kids. Achievement unlocked. Balls. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, they are funny, aren't they? Let's close this and just look at. You've earned nine out of forty-nine. Eighteen percent. Balls. Seems you like playing with balls, eh? So clever, Idos Montreal. Yes, I do like playing with balls. So head through that hole in the fence, you get a 100 experience bonus for exploration, and we can head through this passage to get to a new section of the city, but I think I've been playing long enough to call this a video, so I'm going to end it for now and say thank you for watching. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Next time, we will continue out in the Detroit streets. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.